Welcome back to On The Rise as we have witnessed the biggest transfer in Canadian Premier League history. As Forge FC have developed one of the most exciting talents to ever come out of the CPL and ultimately being Canadian in Kowasi Poku. The young 21 year old Canadian number 9 and centre forward, new centre forward, has finally made that move abroad, leaving Canada, leaving North America and the CPL behind and heading off to Belgium and this is a very exciting move ultimately it isn't the Belgian first division but he is joining a side who is newly relegated into the second division of Belgian football and this is a statement signing as it is truly done this is official as Kawasi Paku leaves Forge FC leaves the CPL and is heading to the second division in Belgium as he's joining RWD Molenbeek this is a very exciting move for, for the likes of Kawasi Kawasi Paku, who joins the side on a three-year contract with the Brussels club with RWD Molenbeek. And Forge FC are making an absolute killing for selling Kawasi Paku, making a profit and bringing in $600,000, or if you want to look at from euros, 550,000 euros, arguably the biggest deal in Canadian Premier League history as there's some undisclosed moves within the CPL through its time as a short league where we don't know the fee on certain players. But Kawasi Paku is the most expensive transfer as we know it in the Canadian Premier League to my knowledge. And this is an extremely exciting move for Kawasi Paku, who is only 21 years old. He has been brilliant this season, playing as a number 9, and having a fantastic season under the Forge FC manager in Bobby Smyrniotis, who at one point was tipped as highly to be the Canadian men's national team manager. And this is a 21-year-old striker who has changed positions this season, who has gone up top to be a new number 9, and has tried himself up there. After 17 games, 1,251 minutes, he has accumulated 8 goals and 2 assists, which is extremely exciting for any striker, let alone a 21-year-old Canadian who has so much potential, so much talent, and is now going to a side in Molenbeek, who are a newly relegated side to the second division. I know that could be disappointing for some Canadians, seeing Polku not go to a first division, whether it's a relegation battle first division side, but going to a side in the second division of Belgian football truly depends on which side he's going to, and the fact that Molenbeek are newly relegated side, they're going to be wanting to bounce back up, and a statement signing like Kawasi Paku is a huge statement, because spending 550,000 euros on a player to come to a second division is a lot of money for the Belgian second division, so the fact that going out and splashing that kind of cash is a true statement move from Molenbeek to show that they want to bounce straight back up to the first division of Belgian football, and also they see the prospect of signing a young hungry Canadian, as Canadians right now are in the market, and Really, the price isn't low on Canadians anymore. Matthew Shinetti talked about that. All Canadians are price or their price is truly rising. It's an untapped market. They're true gems right now in the footballing market. And people have seen what we've done in Copa America, whether Kawasi Paku was a member, he of course wasn't of that side. But Canadians market and Canadian stock are all going to be rising because we're truly an untapped market with so much talent that hasn't really been looked at and now after the rise of the Copa America and Jesse Marsh putting his name on the squad and helping some of the players this is only going to elevate the Canadian national team and Kwasi Paku going for 550,000 euros is a pretty expensive fee in terms of how new the Canadian Premier League is and for a 21 year old Canadian who is a new striker so it's very exciting to see him go to Molenbeek because the Belgian division albeit the second division, is still extremely good and very exciting at developing youth talent and bringing through young players, whether it's moving them on to better sides within the first division of Belgian football or moving them to better leagues because Belgian football has always been brilliant at doing that. And yes, Canadians might have poor memories, for instance, with Liam, Mil uh, Liam Fraser leaving the MLS, testing his feet in the likes of Belgium, in the second division where 
of course, Kwasi Paku is going to be now, and that didn't work, of course, for him. Didn't get enough football, didn't get enough playing time, and unfortunately wasn't up to the level and had to move back to the MLS. But Kwasi Paku is going to a better side than Liam Fraser did. Is going to a side that has expectations to bounce straight back up to the first division. Has a overall better squad than Liam Fraser joined. So there's a lot more excitement around this Kwasi Paku move, of course, and there is no need to really be afraid of this move. I think it's a very exciting move because when you look at Molenbeek, for a side that last season was playing the likes of Gank, Ghent, Circle Bruges, Club Bruges, Westerloo, very good clubs, and they want to be at that level. Financially, it helps the club. And of course, when you're spending that much on a player, you have certain expectations. And their expectations are, of course, to get back in the first division. And Kwasi Paku, as a 21-year-old striker, will be fighting with, of course, the talent that they already have. They have a 18-year-old Belgium already striker at the club. And they also have a captain at the club who is a 30-year-old Polish striker. So they have two options already. But Kwasi Paku, I think, is going to step into that side as the backup striker with their current striker in injury right now for undetermined amount of time so he will come in as the backup option so if he can get his feet under him can really impress the manager early on I think Kwasi Paku is going to have a great opportunity to earn a solid amount of playing time with the likes of Molenbeek and hopefully work himself into that starting 11 because it'll be very interesting to see how he can get his feet going in Europe but ultimately this is a very exciting move. It's a done deal. It is done, guys. And it's very exciting to see more Canadian talent leave the CPL and continue to develop very exciting talent. Bobby Smirniotis has been brilliant at that. We've seen so many players leave the CPL. Now, for ex- instance, you have Tristan Borges, Lucas McNaughton, Diaz, Joel Waterman, Victor Latore, and that's just to name a few. This league has done so well at developing talent, especially Canadian talent, and moving them abroad. And Kwasi Paku is a brilliant piece of business and a true gem of the CPL. And a brilliant example of what this league is doing amazing at. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. How do you rate the Kwasi Paku move? Where do you guys think? Is this a good move for him? Should he have went to a better club? Let me know your thoughts down below on how well he will do in Europe. Ultimately, guys, as well, let me know your thoughts. But Make sure to hit that sub button, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's try and push for 430 subs as soon as possible, guys. And hit that like button to get the content in your for you page and be able to see it quicker guys i'll see you guys for the next one because we have so much content coming up and i'll see you guys peace